One of the biggest costs of your pool is running the pool pump. I recommend running it one cycle per day. The best way to know how much flow you have is to have a flow meter installed. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the flow viz flow meter. Set your timer to get the maximum energy savings. And the flow viz flow meter will give you your gallons per minute. It's going through your system. Once you have that number, you'll take your pool size and then you'll be able to calculate how to set your timer for one cycle of water through the maximizer energy savings. You can use the charts that come with your pump to get the amount of gallons per minute, but without knowing the actual total dynamic head or resistance to the flow, you're not going to know the accurate amount of gallons going through your system. One of the factors that affects the gallons per minute of flow is the total dynamic head which is resistance to flow. This one here, the skimmer, is about 40 feet from the equipment. It's got at least two elbows to get over here. So this pump is rated for 130 gallons per minute. You got a factor in that's going to pull the water about 40 feet from the skimmer to get to the equipment. And it's got to go through the filter, through the heater, through some curves in the pipe, and then back out the return line. So the only accurate way to get a gallons per minute is with a flow meter. Basically one cycle of water is all the water in your pool passing through the filter at least once per day. And that varies greatly depending on what kind of pump you have. If you have a standard one speed pump, variable speed pump, what size horsepower the pump is also. So at 1500 RPMs it's pulling about 20 gallons a minute. If your pool was 15,000 gallons, it would take about 13 hours to get one cycle through at that speed. So 13 hours running at 1500 RPMs, that would be about 2600 watts, which is about running your regular pool pump for one hour. So installing a flow viz flow meter will maximize your variable speed pump savings. You'll know exactly how many gallons of water are moving through your pump at the set RPM. Here's the flow viz working here at a one speed pump. It's got 60 gallons per minute coming out. So the flow viz is reading 60 gallons per minute. My pool here is about 15,000 gallons. So at 60 gallons per minute, 15,000 gallon pool, about four hours will give you one full cycle through with the 1.5 horsepower whistle flow pump. You can see how that's going to save you a lot of money knowing how many gallons per minute are actually moving through your pool and you can set your timer accordingly. Okay, the first step is to measure around the perimeter of your pool. Also measure the depth of the pool and then calculate how many gallons or liters of water are in the pool. And here's the formula for a square rectangular pool. And to get the depth of the pool, go ahead and stick your pool pole on the shallow end and then mark it. And you want to come over to the deep end and do the same thing. You want to get near the main drain, that's usually the deepest part of the pool. Then you take the depth from the shallow end and deep end and you go ahead and average the depth together to get the average depth of the pool. You get the most accurate reading if you have an attached spa. Go ahead and use the formula and get the amount of gallons of water in the spa also. So if you have a round pool, a round spa, here's the formula to calculate how many gallons of water are in there. So knowing the flow is essential, by installing the flow viz flow meter, you'll get the gallons per minute. With that, you can set your pool pump to run just for one cycle, which will translate and sometimes is $100 in energy savings.